another one of my equestrian empties videos. In these videos, I talk about the equestrian or horse related products that I used up within the last couple months or however long it's been since I posted my previous equestrian empties video, which I think was probably around three months ago. Seems like I go about that long, but I actually have a lot to share with you today. I know this isn't my like most viewed category of videos, but I still find them very interesting and fun to film. So I'm gonna continue doing them. To start off, I have a lot of treats. I have like five empty bags of treats. Keep in mind, I didn't start and use up all of these treats in this amount of time since my previous Equestrian Empties video. And I also had two horses at the time, so I did go through a decent amount of treats and I like to use treats for groundwork. So enough of those disclaimers out of the way. I'm gonna get into the actual empties. So the first thing of treats that I used up with these Doomer Nay Nipplers. I got these for Christmas last year. These are the carrot flavor and it is a three pound container. I didn't love these that much. I feel like not all of the horses liked these and I would like to try to break them up into small pieces and it didn't always work, but they were fine. I wouldn't buy them again, but if I were given them, awesome, I will use them. These were two of my favorite treats and ones that I buy all the time because they're low sugar. So first I have the Standley Appleberry Cookie Cubes. These are low sugar and low starch. For this particular bag, I used half of it for making Christmas treats for the barn and then the other half for me, but they don't come like with a full bag. It's like half full, kind of like potato chips. And I just went through them really quickly because I didn't use them all for myself. But they're more like a cube of kind of like an alfalfa-y type of treat. They smell so good. They smell like apple and berries. <laughs> Clearly, you can tell by the name, but these are great treats and I find that most horses like them. I also like that they're very fragrant, so I think they like that as well. And then these are ones that I buy all the time. These are the Mana Pro Nutri Good Low Sugar Snacks. These are the apple flavor. I think they have carrot flavor as well, but I always just buy the apple one because I feel like most horses will like the apple flavor. These are very tiny. They're probably about that big. And I love using these for groundwork and training purposes. I think they work great for that. They're also just good treats to have. I find that most horses like these as well. This was my first time trying these. These are the German Minty Muffins. These are whole grain horse treats and they have a sweet candy center. So they are kind of like a stud muffin type of treat and they have little peppermints in them. I gotta say these were kind of annoying to use and take out, but I think it was my own fault because I put them in my tack trunk when it was like still like 70 degrees out. So I think they melted a little bit and they were just very sticky to take out of the packaging, but my horses loved them. Sassy did like them when she was here and then Tipsy loved them as well. I don't know if I buy these again. These were $8.95, so honestly not terrible, but there are like a brand of like stud muffin-y type of treats. They're called Aunt Angie's Treats. I haven't bought them in like a year or so and they're super cute and similar to these and they're a small business. So I think I will buy them next time if I want this type of treat. And then the last bag of treats that I finished were these Mana Pro Apple Nuggets. This was just a very small bag. Didn't last that long. I think it lasted me about a month because I, again, I like to use smaller treats for like groundwork purposes, but Tipsy liked these a lot. I finished a liniment. This is the Absorbine Veterinary Liniment Gel. This is a topical analgesic sore muscle and joint pain relief liniment gel and it has a spearmint scent. I love this. It also works good on like my muscles too. I don't seek this out to use on my muscles, but if my hands are kind of achy and I put this on one of the horses and it just happens to stay on my hand, it feels pretty good. It smells good as well. I think this is helpful for making their joints feel better. Next, I have two hoof related items and they're both from the brand Hoofflex. I have the therapeutic conditioner and this is the natural conditioner. I think that this one is probably more moisturizing than the therapeutic one. However, I could only get like half of it out before I just couldn't get any of it out. And that was before it got cold. So I think I'm just going to buy the natural one over this therapeutic one from now on just because I can actually get more use out of the natural one. So the natural one's more of an oil where this one's just more of like a dressing. It's just a bit thicker. But I do tend to go through this very quickly, like probably within a month to three months, depending on how often I use it. So I did buy something else. I've got the Sure Hoof, which, which I've used a couple years ago. We'll see how I like that. That one is a bit thicker, so I'm wondering if it'll do the same thing as this one, but we'll see. 
The hip flex is nice, but I'm just trying different things at this time. This took me forever to finish. This was the Leather New from Farnham. So this is Easy Polishing Glycerin Saddle Soap. As you can see, there's no top on here because right when I bought it, I dropped it and the top broke, like the little sprayer. And I just never found one that fit this one. So it just looked like this for about the two years that I had it. I actually just repurchased some Leather New. If you guys have any other recommendations for like actual like saddle soap or leather cleaner that will actually get dirt off really well, please let me know. This one works fine, but if there's anything better out there, I'm definitely interested. I finished up this bottle of MTG. This is the MTG Plus. So it was supposed to smell like, I guess like, herbs or like a plant I don't really know but this is for like funguses rain rot it says it can do it says it's the single solution for fungus rain rot girth itch scratches sweet itch tail rubbing dry skin bug bites mane and tail growth conditioning and detangling even with the plus it still smelled like barbecue sauce or bacon grease however you want to put it it doesn't smell good and I've known that about MTG, but it honestly works great, but it's definitely good to have on hand, which I probably should get more of this. But I also have a bunch of other fungusy type of things I wanna finish first. They're like all on their last leg like, from Sassy last year. And I just have a bunch of almost done products. And this was one of them. There's still a tiny bit left, but it's just not worth it. I can just buy another bottle that is fresh. Next, I have this tiny bottle of Shoshin, and Shoshin is a detangler and like mane, tail, and coat polish. It does have silicones in it, so it's not my favorite thing to use because silicones make it feel nice, but it doesn't actually condition or hydrate that well. So this isn't something I will buy all the time, but I think I will keep this little container so I can put it in like a bucket of grooming supplies when I take when I'm trailering somewhere. So I think it'll be helpful for that. But Shoshin does work pretty well, especially if you've got a really knotty tail or mane. Speaking of Shoshin, I also got this Shoshin Moisturizing Detangler. I'm not sure if this has the silicones as like that spray does, but this worked really well to detangle tails. I didn't use it in manes unless they were like really, really knotty. This did have kind of like an, a grandma, old lady type of scent, but it wasn't bad. I enjoyed using it and it was a good product. I'm currently using the Cowboy Magic right now, which I think works better than the Shoshin Detangler Oil but they work pretty similarly. And then lastly, I have this little bottle of this Cavalor Starshine Spray. This worked fine. I don't think it made them particularly super shiny, but it was nice to go over their coat and make them super soft. I only had this small bottle and I didn't use it consistent enough to really see a difference, but when I did use it, it made their coats feel soft. So that is it for my equestrian empties. I think this is maybe the fourth one that I've done. I like doing these videos just to see what I go through in that time, see what products I still like and ones I wouldn't repurchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you wanna check it out. It is called Courtney K and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later, bye.